Hey guys, we are back. We're going to be doing some things to the upstairs to try to alleviate some of the heating. So we're gonna talk a lot about that, but today is about the Honeywell Home T5 Smart Thermostat. So we are gonna be replacing our 16-year-old thermostat. I'm also sticking with Honeywell for some reason, these homes, I guess would, between 13 and 16 years ago, this was part of the plan as far as electrical, and it wasn't a lot of Wi-Fi stuff at all. So now we're going to find out if this needs a C-wire. So this is what we're going to do today. So you've most likely got either the T6 or the T5 smart thermostat. Mine, I actually got on a auction site. So I got this whole thing for about 25 bucks. I think you can get it for eBay around 40, maybe even buy a new one, the T6 model. Do whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter, they're all pretty much the same. But this is what comes in the box. So the box is gonna look like this. And you're gonna have all this stuff in there, blah, blah, blah. Now, of course, with my auction site, this came for 20 bucks, but I didn't have pieces to it, which is the risk you take. So I had to order on eBay a wall plate. This was 13 bucks, and this can be used with your T5 or your T6. These are pretty uniform, and we'll get to why this is important in a moment. You're also gonna get the uh, owner's manual here, which is very important. You're gonna get some wire label stickers. That's also important. And if you have an older home, we're also gonna talk a little bit about a C wire adapter. This is the AC slash AC adapter. I think I got that for, I don't know, 10 bucks on Amazon. And then I also got some wall plating just in case because whenever you take off the old thermostat up there, sometimes the paint is not gonna match or the paint's gonna be behind it. So this could end up hiding anything so I don't have to go back and paint, but if I have to paint, hey, whatever it is. I also didn't get in the original boxing was these screws for anchor screws that go into the sheetrock or the drywall. Uh, so I got these, I think this came with, I think this came with that. I can't remember. But anyway, that's what we're going to utilize. Um, and this should, uh, shouldn't take too long. Before you do anything to any type of electrical equipment, I don't care if it's a ceiling fan, I don't care if it's a thermostat, I don't care, whatever it is, go down to your breaker box and turn this off. As you can see, mine is completely, there's nothing in there. There's no power to it. So we are dealing with no power right now. So that's going to get us back to the the uh, ability to be as safe as possible. So turn off the power, folks. So, just so you guys can save the time of finding out what this is, this is a Honeywell RS4500, but in order to get this off, if you have a Honeywell uh, RS5000 or 6000 or just a 5,000 or 6,000. I don't know if the RS was that important, but that's this is a 16-year-old thermostat, so I assume yours is probably even um, newer than this. But in order to do that, if there's a, there's a, you press this button over here. Press this button, and that releases the batteries. So once the batteries, when that part's done, you can then take this and just take out this comes right out like that now I'm showing you from this angle because I've already got it almost pulled out but you're gonna take your hand where the battery was and hold the wall plate like that okay then you're going to pull this you're gonna pull this well, the entire thermostat straight back okay so you're gonna hold that but I can't do it with my phone so your hands right there and you're gonna pull pretty hard and it's gonna go pop right out like that. Okay, so it's these four slots 
are here and it's just kind of anchored like this. So it doesn't, a lot of the, the thermostats have almost a, it's like it moves this way or moves this way or move this way or move this way. Ours literally just pulls straight back, okay? And that exposes all of this. Now, hopefully we're not gonna have this back, but in order to make sure that everything works, you're going to take pictures of this, okay? And this is a good reminder too, all this has to be level, all right? Um, so this is so small, I'll get to this in a minute, why this is so cool for me. I don't know if it's, if your 5,000 or 6,000 is gonna have the same uh, dimensions as this, so you're gonna have to figure that out, but you are going to level your wall mount when we get to that, but just I wanted to tell you that go get your level, it's important. Now, this is the other that's important. You're gonna take pictures of all of this because if your thermostat doesn't click on or if there's a Wi-Fi issue or something like this because some of these older houses, you know, they won't even accept this stuff. I've run into that before with the Nest, so that's why I'm sticking with Honeywell. But anyway, you're gonna see that it starts at the top and it says RC, this is where the red wire is, okay? Then Y is where the yellow wire is. C, we'll get to that in a moment, is where the blue wire is. W is where the white wire is. And G is for the ground, okay? These are all respective um, duplicates running all the way up into your heat pump, okay? So this is very important. Um, for some reason, all this is working very well for me because I have the C wire, I have the yellow wire, I have all these components that are already in there. So we're already winning. There's even a, like an orange wire in there. So I've got everything. If for some reason this doesn't work, I'm gonna undo this orange wire as well and see if that has something to do with anything because the C wire, all right, is where your power is coming from. So all the new thermostats are not using batteries anymore. Notice I had that battery plate right here or the battery holder and that came out. You're not gonna have that on your new thermostat. So you're going to have to have power. So I'm gonna show you something that you can look at if you don't have a C wire. Let's say you don't have a C wire, okay? You're gonna have to get one of these that I showed earlier in the video. You're gonna have to get one of these as I turn it upside down here. Okay, it's a C wire adapter, all right? Now, I don't have to do that. I'll do another video some other time to show you that, but there are plenty of videos out there that show you how to use this. Since I don't need it, it would, it would for all intents and purposes, it would give power to the unit. So you'd have to plug this in, finding an outlet. I don't even have an outlet. I think I'd have to go into my bathroom. Yep, so that would be my nearest outlet. And that would end up being plugged in. So I'd have to run this wire <laughs> all the way up, I assume, or excuse me, all the way down, down here, kind of putting like this, going underneath my molding, going up and into the bathroom in order to power the, the, the thermostat itself. But that's what's really nice about having the, your C wire already done because there's already power that's going going into this wall plate that will go into the thermostat. And also, this is another indication here too. If you have this, the 5000 or the 4500, C is optional with batteries, okay? So in other words, ours all had batteries on it. Or in, so it was an optional thing, which I never understood why that was, but I guess if power wasn't um, associated to the unit, excuse me, to the old thermostat, you could then use the batteries that would keep it going. But we took the batteries out years ago, so we've been we've had power here, which is great. So some additional things that we're going to need is a your smallest screwdrivers uh, that you can find. Almost everybody has a set of these. For our purposes, we're going to use the Phillips head or flat head, excuse me, not Phillips head, we're gonna use the flat head. Uh, the flat head is going to be able to fit into these tiny holes to loosen our wires. 
Again, take a picture. Take a picture. This is important, okay? Because this is important for our next piece, which is the replacement wall plate. The UWP-16, which mine didn't come with. And that's, this is going to be mounted to our, yeah, it's going to replace everything. So that's how it's going to come, it's going to be looking once we take this off the wall. And that's going to replace, that's our new mounting plate. So, we're going to start to undo these. So there we go. Now, just a little bit of some tips here. These are a little deeper than you anticipate. So well, I had to keep unscrewing them until finally they loosened up and were able to pull out. You obviously don't want to damage anything. So make sure that you've unscrewed these enough to where these should just come out pretty easily. So here we go. We've got our ground, we've got our white wire, we've got our C wire, we have our yellow wire and we have our red wire, okay? This is all very important. Now, to be really honest, guys, I there are there is this um, sticker thing that has come that came with your box, but mine are all corresponding to the uh, color codes. Everything's fine. The only one that I needed to make sure, and we'll get to this in a moment, is I labeled the RC wire because that's where mine was. Yours could be in the R. You could be whatever it is. You could have S's. You could have all kinds of fun stuff, and it'll just correspond. You know, you know. All of this will correspond to your specific um, configuration that will that will coordinate with the T5 thermostat. So I didn't do all the labels because I can tell that's green, white, yellow, and blue, and red. All right, and so RC. So anyway, you guys go do what you want to do. But now we are at the place where we are going to take off this wall mount. All right, the old one here. All right. Now I've got a power drill here that I'm going to use that. So the next time we see this, we're going to have this out. Now, be very careful because this right here is, could be very um, loose. The actual body of this entire wiring system could be, you know, mine's really tight in the wall, so it's not going to fall back or do anything like that because if this falls back in the wire, into the wall, you're not going to have it anymore. All right, so make sure that there's if there's a little slack or something like this, make sure you're holding on to this. Again, I'm not showing you that because I can't even move that anyway because it's so anchored to the wall. All right, so we'll see this in a moment and we'll start dealing with the uh, walting, <laughs> walting, the wall mounting plate. So this is the UWP-16 and it's now mounted. I only needed two of these. This is really tight in there, and I got it between a 0 .0 and 0 .1 level, so I'm pretty happy with everything there. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like for you guys. Um, again, if you haven't looked at the wall plate yet, this thing was like, it has a little pull, little pull thing right here. You just pull it down, will expose these, these corresponding color codes. All right, and they have little things off to the side here. They're little tabbies, okay? Little tabbies, all right? These are the plugs where the T5 thermostat is going to go into. So it's gonna look like that. So those plugs, those little steel knobs are gonna go into these holes. So next, we're gonna take all the corresponding wires, just like we did before, and we're gonna hold off and I'm gonna read something to you in the owner's manual about RC, okay? So next, we're gonna have all this thing and I'm gonna to talk to you about RC here in a second. All right, we're back. So this is the owner's manual here, guys. And it gives you two options for the R wires, all right? Or the red wires. So this one is if you have one R wire, R, RH or RC, you're gonna move this little blue tabby thing. See that little blue tabby in there? You move that to the up position, all right? All right, so move it to the up position and then insert your R wire into the R terminal, okay? So I have one red wire. So I am going into the R terminal, which means this little blue guy could be moved up, which is up, and then this is, so now it's down, and it's gonna be moving up. So it even gives you a little cheat code right here. 
I'm in the one wire slot. You guys could be in the two wire slot, all right? So I am in the up zone, and then I'm going to put my red wire into the R, even though it says RC, ha ha. So you guys could then follow, if you have two red wires, you can then do the two wire scenario, which is the set wire, set the R switch to the down position, and then you're going to put your respective wires in that way. I'm in the one spot, so I'm only gonna do one, okay? Next, we'll see the R in the correct position, and we are gonna be ready to go. So from this vantage point, guys, it looks like everything's ready to go. I've got my yellows and my greens and my blues, and everything's good, and this is really, really tight fit. But guess what? This thing, this bundle, this whole wire bundle, is too large, so I can't get everything down in there and it won't go flush with the wall plate. So that means my T5, all right, won't fit in there because this little guy doesn't close. So I have to take plan B here and put a, looks like a wall plate that I'm going to have to put on here so that I got this, which is cord or it corresponds with the UWP 16. So then I'm gonna have to mount that. And then this is then gonna have to hook, it's gonna like hook onto my um, wall plate, which is gonna give me more opportunity to work with all this. So I'm gonna have to do, this is now going to, this is gonna come off. I have to put this on, I have to make sure it's level, and then I have to put this back on and put all these back guys back on there. So, kind of glad this happened to you, but you can even see how far it sticks out. It, like, doesn't even give any room for my little, for my little thing to even close. Not even close. So, I'm hoping this little guy gives me a little bit more, you know, more leeway, I guess, or more area, surface area here. But, we shall see. All right. So how glad am I that I got this this piece here? Good Lord. I mean, this comes even with a with a backing, which I just thought was gonna be more for aesthetics, but evidently I need all the room I can get. So this is going to be give me almost half of my first knuckle more room than just flush up against it, which was not going to be the case. So we're gonna reconnect all this stuff and have all this backing on here, which I guess I was gonna use anyway. Looks like the holes I can correspond the holes even originally. I think this one's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, but we can just kind of re redo all that. But I'm not gonna drill anymore until I get those in, get these all corresponding correctly, and I'm gonna be able to get this to close. That's the challenge, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna to have to go underneath this and hollow out some of this drywall and try to push this back some, which that sounds like it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun, but. Hopefully it doesn't come to that and we've given ourselves enough space and we'll get level and we'll be looking like we're good here. I'll show you what it looks like right before I put the T5 Honeywell thermostat on. So it looks like I didn't have to go and pry into the drywall or at least remove the drywall. So this wall plate, um, I think it cost me, I think this plus the aesthetic um, I think it was like 11 bucks. It was so crazy. I, I might even had a Amazon credit. I didn't even remember how much it cost. So it's certainly under 20 and, you know, a little more than eight. And depending on what you have and you just plug into Amazon, the T5, um, Honeywell thermostat. And this is what pops up for the whole thing. So you don't have all this paint stuff and all this jazz. So that's what it looks like guys. Everything is, is in there. Um, I want to show you, you know, again, I'm the one wire. So the one wire is up, is up, is there as far as that. I was wiggling it a lot. So that was a, that's why that was there. So the R goes in there. Notice there's really no copper showing or no wiring showing. So yellow for yellow, green for ground, C for, um, C wire or the power. That's the most important blue one. And then you have the white wire and the red wire, which is going to be the hot wire. And this is a neutral, and I think this is to the uh, to the heater. So, anyway, so 
that is what's going on. And we are gonna try to see if this thing closes up. And it does, so that's good. This is level, I got a point zero, so I even, I even have it more level, so. Excellent, excellent. So I'm gonna take this little guy here, so it has some tabbies on the side there. Again, corresponding with some of this. I only needed two screws because I got lucky enough to where there's a stud involved in all of this, which is why I think that wire's so tight because I think it's sitting on a stud. But I don't care because it's fine and it's sitting there. And we're gonna see if this thing is going to fit. And it should snap in. And there you go. So now we are in there. And now the next thing we're gonna do is take our T5, finally, the T5 thermostat. And we're gonna take these corresponding prongs I showed earlier in the video. And we're gonna hopefully get them to line up and they should just press right on in. And there we go. So, um, I'm gonna go turn on the power and pray. <laughs> and, oh yeah, hey, big Star Wars fan, so rock and roll, may the force be with you. This is also a kid uh, playroom slash man cave. So my kids are getting so old that all the kid stuff's gonna go away and all the man cave stuff's going in here. But I wanna make this also nicer up here so I have the ability to uh, cool this down and we're also going to do another video on a couple of things I'm going to do so as you can see it's a work in progress but we're, tr we're trying to get everything going here but anyway so I'm going to go turn the power on what I want you to do now um, before you even continue the video is go download the uh, Honeywell home I think it starts with an E now something like a squareo I'll look it up again when I come back on, so that way you'll be able to see what you have to download because this is all application driven, of course. So that's what we're doing. I'll see you guys in a moment and I'll tell you what the what the app is, but it's also in your um, instruction manual to go download the Honeywell Home app. But now there's a new app that says formerly Honeywell Home. Find that app. I think it's red. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. Well, we have success. We have got this all set up and everything came on. We are now cooling. Fortunately, I did this on an April day, so it's only gotten to about 75 up here. So I've got it cooling down to 73, but I just turned it on. So it's gonna take a few minutes for this to come back together. Plus I have the windows open anyway, but we are now in and synced and I have the app so I can start utilizing all of the features. It's not called Honeywell Home anymore. It's called Residio and it's a red app. And once you go onto the app store, I guess it's Google Play Store or your uh, iOS app store, you then can go through and find the Residio app. It'll call formerly Honeywell Home. And once the power, once I put the power back on for this, it turned right on and it was went to original settings from my other thermostat, which that was pretty amazing. Um, or it was just, oh, look at that. So we're already, so this thermostat is already uh, helped the efficiency of my, <laughs> of my AC twofold. I mean, it's already amazing. So anyway, that is now the uh, Honeywell home. Um, T5, I'll do a update on it, but to be brutally honest, it was really simple. I mean, it kind of got through some troubleshooting. I would definitely get one of these back plates from Amazon. That way you can um, have a little bit more room if there's a tight um, connection back there as far as the wire bundle. But other than that, that is a successful video. Hope you like it and uh, go ahead and like it and keep subscribing and I'll keep putting up videos. I'm going to do some other things here upstairs. So I'll take you guys through trying to maximize cooling the upstairs. Um, and this is already a huge hit. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed it.